Hey, it's Dave from WeUseThat.com. You can see a little change of scenery today because we're actually downstairs in our play cave taking a look at this Dotstone four port HDMI switcher. What this thing actually does, uh, it takes four HDMI sources and puts it into one output. So let's say, you know, a lot of newer TVs, they only have one or two HDMI inputs, but let's say you have uh, multiple game systems, you have your cable box, you have a Blu-ray player, uh, you have a lot of different sources now, and a lot of TVs aren't capable of taking in all those inputs. So you need a switcher like this. Uh, one thing I'm really excited to see on this thing is it has the ability to do picture in picture Picture, which means it'll give you one main picture and then have your three smaller pictures as well. Um, so we're going to change things up a little bit today and do a live first impressions video. You're going to be seeing everything for the first time as I see it. So let's see if this thing uh, really does what it says it does because I really want to check out this picture in picture thing. Let's check it out. So before we get started, let's go ahead and open up the box. Uh, the one thing I want to talk about is just that picture in picture function that I was talking about before. You'll see it right there on the box. Picture in picture have one main picture and three smaller pictures. Uh, this is what I'm really interested in to see what this is really all about. So I'm going to pop down the autofocus again. Now let's go ahead and let's see what's actually inside this box. So we're going to slide it open here. I'm going to open it up. So here again, we got some basic instructions. Um, I assume I'm going to be able to figure this out without any necessary instructions, but you never know. And let's see what else we got going on in here. The actual four port HDMI port, nicely wrapped up very tightly in there too. Um, so let's take a peek. So there it is, the dot stone HDMI switcher. Let's see if we can focus in on there a little bit. So, Dotstone HDMI switcher, um, four ports. So we've got our four ports in the back. Nothing on that side. There's our output, so that's a fifth port. And then on the front, so not only does this have a remote, I believe, but we also have um, some tactile buttons here right on the front uh, so we can make the necessary adjustments and make the switches if we want uh, right from the device. So let's go ahead and let's see if there is that remote in here. We're gonna open this up. So there it is, uh, we do have a remote, a uh, very basic remote here. Uh, looks like it's got a button cell battery in the back, so we'll just go ahead and we'll uh, pull that plastic tab out when we're ready to use this. Uh, but we've got uh, numbers one through four, so that's for our four sources. We also have the picture and picture options as well. So I'm definitely uh, interested to see what that's gonna be all about. And then last but not least, our uh, AC adapter. Let's get everything wired up and uh, let's see how this thing works. All right, I just turned on the TV. We're gonna now go to the HDMI input that the switcher is hooked up to. You're gonna see the switcher down in the bottom right corner of your screen. Let's go ahead and try to find that and see exactly what's going on with the switcher. Uh, right off the bat, one of the first things I noticed is that even though the switcher is powered, it does not power a Amazon Fire Stick. So that was one of the first things I noticed. I hooked it up to a Fire Stick, but the Fire Stick did not work unless it had that auxiliary power source. So I know that the Fire Sticks can be powered via the HDMI port, but unfortunately uh, that was not the case for this. So right now, let's say I think we're on HDMI one there. Oh, that was two. So all right, on HDMI one, I can see I've got my PlayStation hooked up. Go to HDMI two. I've got an Xbox 360, on HDMI 3 is another Xbox, and HDMI 4, HDMI 4 again is that fire stick, um, no, no signal, I've gone ahead, I've tried to power it on, it does not seem to do anything, so, so we're going to go ahead, is we're going to go ahead, pause this real quick, I'm going to hook up a fourth source so we can really see how that four in one uh, picture in picture work. So let's check that out. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and hooked up a fourth source, again, I really wish that uh, Amazon Fire Stick would work through the HDMI port, but unfortunately it does need that power source. Not a huge make or break issue, uh, but the fact that even though this is powered and still needs that extra juice to power the, the uh, Fire Stick kind of stinks. But let's go through now. Now that we've got four good sources, again, we've got our PlayStation 3 on source one. 
Uh, source 2, I've got my Xbox going on now. I've got a second Xbox on input 3. And now on input 4, uh, I've got a Chromebook running, just going ahead showing um, some other past we use that video. So now is the, the thing I really wanted to test out and that is the picture in picture function. So as we saw in the remote before, there's a couple picture in picture options. I don't know what they do. So let's just go ahead and click them and see what happens. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the picture in picture mode on. Uh, what I can actually do is you'll see right there on the left hand side of the screen, we can see I've got a couple different options there, but it doesn't really show me what I can do with them. Um, so now what I can do is, now that I have it on, I can kind of flip through and go to my different options. So we've got our main screen, and now I've got picture 1, 2, and 3 on my remote. Now I'm assuming if I hit picture and picture 1, it's going to go to that top option, which is the PlayStation. It does. If I was to hit picture and picture 1 again, it would select that video that's in the top position. So the remote, very easy to understand. Um, I thought for sure when I what I was anticipating with this was the side pictures to be a little bit bigger Unfortunately, they're not Because um, I thought this would be really cool say it was Sunday and you've got four football games You want to watch you could go ahead and do that But it looks like you're not going to be able to do that with this not a big problem um, Again, but it's still cool that we can go ahead. We can see our four options right there on the left hand side of the screen. It looks like it's not a full live playback. Uh, well, I noticed that in the middle screen, that video game um, video, uh, it was a little stuttery. It looks like it's got a few frame skips. Um, again, it's not a huge make or break thing. It's kind of just to show you what's going on in the other options, uh, but still pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can see it again. Yeah, while that YouTube video plays on the bottom there, uh, we can see that there are frame skips. But other than that, it's, it's really not that bad. So let's go ahead, we can take picture and picture off again. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is that it's kind of hard to, uh, some of these buttons do not respond as well than some of the other ones. Um, I know the infrared on the, on the actual device, the receiver isn't the best. It looks like it's just a light bulb sticking out of the front of the case. Um, but a pretty cool device. Um, every The picture it doesn't look like there's much loss in quality of the picture or the video. Everything looks pretty good still. I don't see any pixelation or anything like that. So that's really nice that they're, I'm not sacrificing quality uh, in order to have quantity. So really cool. Let's... Uh, but I, I, I like it. So there you have it. It is the Dot Stone 4-port HDMI switcher. It's less than $27 on Amazon. If you want to pick one up for yourself, click the link down below in the description. Um, for $27, bucks, you really can't beat it. Um, again, it's a very generic product, but I really like the fact that the picture-in-picture -picture is there. Um, unfortunately, I didn't like the quality of the picture-in-picture. -picture. I would have liked to seen bigger images on the side of the screen, um, maybe giving it like a presentation like you see on sportscasts where they have the main view and then a couple different angles on the other side. That would have been a nice touch, but I guess it's really just there for preview purposes so you can switch between different things. Um, so I get that. I'm so... It didn't live up to the expectations, the picture-in-picture -picture feature, but again, everything else about it is pretty decent. Like I said, the infrared receiver for the remote isn't that great, um, but as long as you're pointing the remote directly at it, you shouldn't have any issues. Again, $27, the Dot Stone 4-port HDMI switcher. Four ports, that's a lot, so you definitely can expand your horizons when it comes to what you can plug into your TV, especially if you're lacking in the HDMI department. Um, if you want to pick one up, get it at Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. Of course, if you want more reviews, find us online at weusethat.com. And of course, like and subscribe if you want to see more of me and more of these cool products. All right, thanks.